What are the global threats that we face today? How are our defense systems evolving to address these threats? These are the questions that occupy the minds of military strategists, policymakers, and even the common citizen who keenly follows global affairs. The world as we know it is changing rapidly. Geopolitical shifts and emerging threats are altering the face of global security. Regions such as Europe and the Middle East are becoming hotbeds of tension, necessitating the need for advanced defense systems. Let's take a moment to understand the nature of these threats. We're not just talking about conventional warfare here. The battlefield has extended beyond land, sea, and air. It's now in the digital realm, with cyber threats posing as much a threat as physical ones. Then there's the growing prominence of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones which have revolutionized warfare with their stealth and precision strike capabilities. On the other hand, state actors are investing heavily in sophisticated missile systems, capable of carrying conventional or nuclear warheads over long distances. These missiles, coupled with advanced tracking and guidance systems, can pose a significant challenge to even the most robust defense infrastructures. Now let's look at non-state actors. Terrorist organizations, insurgent groups, and other rogue elements have shown an alarming propensity to adopt new technologies for their nefarious purposes. They might not have the resources of a state, but their intent and ability to cause disruption cannot be underestimated. Given these threats, it becomes imperative to have a defense system that is not just reactive but proactive. A system that can predict, preempt, and neutralize threats before they can cause significant damage. Enter Advanced Defense Systems, the new frontier in military technology. These systems leverage cutting-edge technology, innovative design, and strategic thinking to provide a robust and effective response to emerging threats. The U.S. Marine Corps, always at the forefront of military innovation, is leading the charge in this area. They are currently advancing two new air defense systems, the medium-range intercept capability and the Marine Air Defense Integrated System. These systems are designed to address the specific challenges posed by the contemporary threat landscape. Given these threats, it's crucial that our defense capabilities evolve in tandem. The U.S. Marine Corps is advancing on this front with two new air defense systems. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these cutting-edge defense systems in the next scenes. One of the key advancements in defense technology is the Medium Range Intercept Capability, or MRIC. This system is a game-changer in the world of military defense, bringing a new level of protection against emerging threats in Europe and the Middle East. The MRIC isn't just a single piece of equipment, it's an intricate combination of existing systems, all working together to form a formidable cruise missile defense capability. The beauty of the MRIC lies in its versatility. It uses the ANTPS-80 ground air task-oriented radar, a state-of-the-art system that can track both ground and air threats. Coupled with the Tamir interceptor missile, it's a dynamic duo for defense. But how does this all come together? The Tamir interceptor missile, produced by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and RTX in Arkansas, is integrated with the radar system. When a threat is detected, the Tamir missile is launched to intercept and neutralize it. The result? A more secure and protected airspace. The Emmerich is more than just a concept, it's moving from the drawing board into reality. This year it's entering the training and integration phase, where it will be thoroughly tested and fine-tuned. This is a critical step to ensure the Emmerich performs as expected under real-world conditions. But the journey doesn't stop there. The Emmerich will undergo an operational assessment in September. This evaluation will provide valuable insights into the system's capabilities and readiness for field deployment. And we're not just talking about a distant future. The first MRIC system will be handed over to the 1st Low Altitude Air Defense Battalion in Hawaii in June 2025. This marks a significant milestone in the U.S. Marine Corps' force design modernization effort. With the MRIC, the U.S. Marine Corps is taking a proactive approach to defense, preparing for the future while addressing the threats of today. It's a testament to their commitment to innovation, readiness, and the protection of those who serve on the front lines. The second system is the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, commonly known as MATIS. The MATIS is a remarkable system, demonstrating its capabilities in a recent live fire test where it successfully intercepted several drones. This impressive feat showcases the system's potential in dealing with one of the modern battlefield's most ubiquitous threats, unmanned aerial vehicles. But the MATIS isn't just about shooting down drones, it's about integration. The system is seamlessly mounted on Joint Light Tactical Vehicles or JLTVs which are designed to replace Humvees. This union of technology and utility provides an agile mobile platform for detecting and engaging targets. 
Now the Mattis isn't just a drone hunter, it's also designed to detect and engage small aircraft. This dual ability to counter both drones and aircraft makes it a versatile defense asset. It's like having an eagle-eyed sentinel that can spot an incoming threat and then act as a sharpshooter to neutralize it. But it's not just about the here and now. The Mattis system is set to undergo further testing and evaluation. These continuous improvements are a testament to the Marine Corps' commitment to staying ahead of the game, to ensuring its readiness to deal with the ever-evolving threats of the modern battlefield. Additionally, the Mattis is also part of the Marine Corps' force design modernization effort. This initiative is all about reimagining the Corps for the future, making it more nimble, more lethal, and better equipped to handle the diverse challenges of modern warfare. The Mattis isn't just a system, it's a symbol. A symbol of the Marine Corps' unwavering commitment to its mission, its readiness to adapt, and its relentless pursuit of excellence. It represents a significant step forward in providing layered defense and protection for small units on the forward edge. In essence, the Mattis is helping to redefine the battlefield, changing the game in favor of the defenders, and ensuring that the Marines always have the upper hand, no matter what the situation. The Mattis system is a significant step forward in providing layered defense and protection for small units on the forward edge. But these systems are not standalone solutions, they are part of a larger strategy. Indeed, the medium-range intercept capability, AMARIC, and the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, MATIS, are two crucial components of the Marine Corps' force design modernization effort. This initiative is a broad sweeping strategy that seeks to equip the Marines with the most technologically advanced tools and systems available, all in an effort to provide layered defense and protection for small units operating on the forward edge of combat zones. But what does this mean in practical terms? Well imagine a chessboard, each piece from the humble pawn to the mighty queen has a role to play. Similarly, in the complex theater of modern warfare, each defense system, each soldier, each piece of equipment has a unique role to play in achieving the overarching strategic objectives. The Emmerich and the Mattis are just two of the many pieces on this vast global chessboard. Now let's take a moment to look at the Pacific region. It's here that the Marine Corps plans to disperse small units, each equipped with these advanced defense systems. The goal? To serve as a powerful deterrent to China. By strategically positioning these units, the Corps aims to maintain a strong and constant presence in the region, a clear signal of its readiness to respond swiftly and decisively to any potential threats. But the Corps' strategy doesn't stop at the Pacific. The Force Design Initiative is a global effort, one that's just as relevant in the Middle East and Europe as it is in the Pacific. After all, the world is interconnected and a threat to peace and stability in one region can quickly ripple out to affect others. In the end, the Emmerich and the Maddies, the Force Design Initiative, the strategic positioning of units in the Pacific, all these elements are part of a larger, interconnected strategy. They are the Marine Corps' way of ensuring that it remains ready, capable and effective in the face of ever-evolving global threats. The ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and Europe justify the decisions made under force design. As we've seen, our defense capabilities are evolving to meet the challenges of today's world. The U.S. Marine Corps is making significant strides in this area, with the development of two new air defense systems, the medium-range intercept capability and the Marine Air Defense Integrated System. These systems are not just about creating a stronger defense mechanism, they are about adapting to the rapidly changing landscape of modern warfare. The Medium Range Intercept Capability, or MRIC, is a testament to innovation, combining existing systems to create a new cruise missile defense capability. Its progress into training and integration this year, with an operational assessment due in September, is a crucial step forward. Likewise, the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, or MATIS, has shown its potential in live fire tests, successfully shooting down several drones. It too will go through additional testing and evaluation before being fielded. These developments are part of the Marine Corps' force design modernization effort, aimed at providing layered defense and protection for small units on the forward edge. They are a response to the emerging threats in Europe and the Middle East, and a counterweight to the growing power of China in the Pacific region. The importance of such advanced defense systems cannot be overstated. They are essential for maintaining peace and security in a world where the nature of threats is constantly changing. It's about staying one step ahead, about being prepared for whatever comes our way. But the journey doesn't stop here. Continued innovation and advancement in defense technology is vital. It's about pushing boundaries, breaking new ground and ensuring that our defense capabilities are not just adequate but exceptional. 
Remember your input matters. Comment below to share your thoughts, like and subscribe for more content like this and support this channel by buying us a cup of coffee. Links are in the description below. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.